So now we'll talk about translation, which is the next component of the central dogma. Remember, DNA to RNA is the process of transcription, and that occurs in the nucleus. And now we get to translation, which occurs out in the cytosol. And this is the conversion of RNA into protein. And the thing about translation is that it uses many different types of ribonucleic acids. We have rRNA, which is ribosomal, and that comprises the ribosomes here. We use the mRNA transcript that we produced during the transcription process. And third, we use something known as tRNA or transfer RNA. And transfer RNA is something that enables you to link the nucleotide sequence to actual amino acids. And so a tRNA molecule or transfer RNA is something that is around 76 base pairs long. So it has its nucleotide sequence that is 76 base pairs long. And it has an amino acid site here on the five prime end that contains an amino acid. And it has a three nucleotide anticodon which helps it recognize the appropriate site on the mRNA. Notice that the anticodon here is the complementary sequence to the codon. In this case, it's the AUG start codon. And the anticodon is something that will bind with that, and thus it can allow you to match a specific codon with the amino acid that you're going to be adding to this chain. T tRNA is 76 base pairs, has the amino acid site and the anticodon. And the third thing to know is that it has this cloverleaf shape. This is not usually the most important thing, but it can be useful because some processes take advantage of the shape of this tRNA. And so you should be aware that it has this shape with a few loops, with the anticodon, and with the amino acid site. And then we'll get into the discussion of ribosomes, how they're formed, and how you begin the process of translating an mRNA sequence into an amino acid and ultimately into a polypeptide.